Hey everyone, thank you so, so, so much for clicking on this video. The fact that you are willing to sacrifice a few minutes out of your day to consume my content really does mean the world to me. My name is Caleb Jensen, and I review everything that gets released, whether it's movies, Netflix, shows, television, anything. So if this interests you, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about Avatar, The Way of Water. Yes, this is not my usual setup. Our roof is actually leaking and pretty much destroyed our whole kitchen and it swept across to my studio. So everything's just up in the air right now. So this is kind of a bit of a on the fly review, but I watched Avatar a few days ago and I've just been, you know, rolling it over in my mind. And I have to say, this is hands down my favorite movie of the year. Um, from script writing to performances, to action, to choreography, the visual effects, everything was absolutely breathtaking. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm not even going to address the story because the story was one of the elements that really gripped me the most and I think a big reason for that was actually the fact that the trailers really didn't reveal much either which I really really appreciated. I think today in you know the modern world of cinema there's a serious issue with revealing too much in trailers and this movie just expertly handled just handling expectations and ensuring that we were excited to watch the movie but the entire movie wasn't already spoiled for us. So I was very, very grateful for that in regards to how the trailer was made. Um, but yes, I'm not going to say anything about the story, but I have to say, of course, everyone watches Avatar for the visual effects. You won't be disappointed. This movie is absolutely spectacular. It is fantastic in regards to its visuals. I was blown away scene after scene after scene. I don't think I can, you know, say anything other than that that I was I was at a loss for words in certain sequences it's just it really did blow my mind and not just did it look visually stunning it was incredibly unique um if you guys don't remember when Avatar first came out um people claimed to have withdrawals and depression after watching um, Avatar because they felt like they could never be part of the world of Pandora I never felt that way but um, after watching this movie, I can understand why some might, because it was truly, truly beautiful and breathtaking. Um, but then I also just have to say, it was beautifully crafted. And what I really enjoyed about this movie, especially over the first, was we get to see different tribes. And we get to see how the different tribes of Na'vi adapt to their surroundings and how their culture shifts and changes. And that was a lot of fun to watch as well. And just moving on from that, how the different animals from the different regions of Pandora, how they work, just everything just made sense from a, from a biological point of view, from a design point of view, just so much fun. And then I have to talk about the performances as well. Sam Worthington has gotten a lot of slack over the years. I've always enjoyed his performances, whether it was the first Avatar, whether it was Clash of the Titans, whether it was Terminator Salvation, I've always found him to be a really good actor in regards to the everyman role to the person that's supposed to be the vehicle for the average person to really just be able to immerse themselves in the experience. But in this movie, he does something else. He's transformed himself into a loving father, but a charismatic leader. And so it was great to just watch his development from the first movie into this movie. Um, I could again talk about everything that's so great about this movie. Touching on the soundtrack, I think that was great. The sound design was amazing as well. Um, but I'm going to just say this movie isn't perfect. It really isn't perfect. There are a few things that I didn't necessarily enjoy. Um, the first is also a carryover from the first film, and that's the use of narration. Um, I understand why narration was important in the first film, especially with how they set up the film with Jake Sully talking to, you know, keeping diary logs and everything like that. It just didn't necessarily feel like, I didn't feel like it needed it in this movie, but it was a nice way to keep the narrative from the first movie following through into this one. A big issue I had with this film was the character of Natiri. Um, of course, she was one of the primary characters. She was one of the protagonists of the first film. In this film, I think her character takes a step back in regards to importance. Yes, um, she's still there. She's still present. But she doesn't really own the screen like she did in the first film. And I feel like her character arc was kind of forgotten. Yes, there are seeds planted for storylines that's going to happen in the future. But as for right now in this film alone, I really feel like they kind of left her character. I think they didn't invest as much time into thinking about her character motivations and everything like that. 
she's still fleshed out for the most part, but there's just a few different situations where I was kind of hoping they just focus on her character work just a little bit more. And then there's one final issue I had with the film, and I'm not even going to address it because it delves back into story plots and stuff like that, so I'm not going to really touch that. But yes, this isn't a perfect movie, but it's definitely my favorite movie of the year. And guys, I would seriously, seriously, seriously recommend that you check it out. It's got a little bit of everything for everyone. If you're a sci-fi junkie, of course, man, this is a science fiction film. If you want action, this movie has got tons of action. But if you just want a good, well-written story that's full of drama, that's full of character development, then this movie has a ton of that as well. But guys, thank you so much for watching this review. It really does mean the world to me. If you enjoyed it, please give this video a like. Do not be afraid to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you again in another review. Mm -hmm.